Hey guys, this is Claudia here from the Bookkeeping Experts. I've been a bookkeeper for a long, long time, for over 20 years. I am a Pro Advisor certified professional, and I love to help people like you understand your QuickBooks Online. Today, we're going to talk about a very popular subject, and that is Square. <laughs> so Square can be quite a quite a challenging subject. Uh, but if everything works well, it is very helpful. So to download the app, I do I do have a prior video that you can watch. Uh, recently, Square ha updated um, the synchronization with QuickBooks, making it a lot easier and kind of like a bank account. Okay, so 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 that just a brief summary of how you do it. Um, on the transaction tab on the left hand side or banking, either one, uh, you're going to click on it and then go to app transaction. Uh, in my case, I already have synchronized, so it shows the transaction right here that needs to be accepted. Okay, I know that this transaction is correct. So, what I do in order to accept it is just to click here and accept selected. Now, I have there's couple of ways to to um, set up the the app through QuickBooks Online. One is to map it so it goes to undeposited funds and the other one to go straight into the bank account. There is an advantage to send it directly to undeposited funds and when you accept here it would go to undeposited funds and then you would click on the plus sign and click on bank deposit and those transactions would be sitting in here after you accept it in the app and here is where you're gonna select those transactions and record the deposit so it's that workflow with quickbooks but because it's synchronized with um uh with square the the invoice and the payment is all automatically uh recorded when those those informations are migrated into QuickBooks and you accept it in the banking section or in the app section in this case. But if you already send it straight to the bank, it's not going to show up here. It's going to match directly in banking. Okay. So what's going to do is going to generate a, um, a transaction in the Square Banking. And then from here is going to generate a transfer from Square into the, the, the bank, okay? So we're gonna click on date and all the transactions that I accepted are gonna be here and you're gonna see a deposit and a payment. So always two transactions and, and you want those two transactions because one is the money coming into QuickBooks and the other one is getting out into Square, in this case, going out into your checking account. So it's going to show up uh, in, in your banking, in your checking account as a transfer. So we're going to go ahead and click on banking. Okay, and we're going to find a few of those transactions. So we're going to go... gonna go by date here and I have a few transactions and it's coming up and there it is okay so one of the transactions and you you click over here and it's gonna show up as a transfer and this transfer is coming from the square bank into the checking account. That means that everything worked out great. So there will be a deposit into the Square Bank once they accept the transaction, and there will be a transfer being recorded automatically from Square into the banking. So this is the best way to map your account. So it's gonna go into a Square Bank and then from Square Bank into your checking account. Uh, there are problems, however, so we're going to go ahead and match here. So I know that this is right. We're going to match here. There are problems, however, with this method. And the way you can locate that is when you see that there is no 
um, no no transfer. So there's either only the, the deposit or only the payment. Okay, so if there's only the deposit, it means that the money is recording into Square but not coming out of Square. So that is the problem with the mapping. And you have to take a look. Sometimes you have to disconnect and connect it back again uh, to make sure that this is happening. So there's always going to be a deposit and a payment. And it's not going to be the exact same amount because uh, the the payment is going to contain the square fee. Oh, I'm sorry, the, uh, the square fee. So if you actually click on the number, oh, not here. If you click on the deposit, you'll see that you have the, the total transaction, which is $250. And right below, and this can be a little confusing, by the way, right? So right below is going to show the square fees, okay? So there's square fees over here. There's something wrong here because this one is square capital payment. This is not square fees. So this should not be going into square fees. So before anything else, I need to go here and this square square capital payment is actually a loan that we have with square so we need to record this to the right place it's actually a liability and you can even type over here sometimes it's easier just to type square loan Okay, so square loan payment. So that's where this one is going to go. So if I haven't made this change here, everything would go to square fees, which is incorrect. $7 and $55 goes to square fees. And this one is going into the loan payment, right? So this is lowering my liability in QuickBooks. So uh, we're going to go ahead and save and close. And I can keep on going and make sure that all the other transactions are correct. So, and this happens because the mapping is not correct. So in QuickBooks you or, or in Square, you can map it so that the, the loan will go into the Square loan. So, but if that doesn't happen, you can always go into the Square fees, go into the deposit, edit, and go there and verify the funds add funds to this deposit see same issue over here so what i'm gonna do is so basically this is the transaction those are the fees including the loan payment so if you have a loan and there is a loan payment it says square capital payment you want to make sure that this this one is corrected to your your liability account so this is just a problem with the mapping the way to fix is you have to actually Disconnect the account, connect it back again. And when you connect, you need to map it so that uh, whenever it says square capital payment, it goes to that square loan. Okay. Or you can do it uh, manually as well. But you do have to go to each transaction to make sure you get it correct. Okay. So this way, everything is going to be recorded accordingly. So loan pay payment versus the square fees. All right, so this is just a little sample of what's going, going on with Square. And there could be several issues. One of the issues that I've been finding quite a lot on the new app is duplication of transactions. So if you actually had Square before and, and now you update it to the new, uh, to the new app and you're sending to an undeposited funds, Make sure that there is no duplicated transaction. How you fix it? If you do have multiple transactions um, for the same transaction, so you would go to bank deposit. So if it's being sent to undeposited funds, that's where it's going to be sitting at, right? And if it's duplicated here, you do have to go through and delete any duplicated transaction. Now, uh, in QuickBooks, when you're deleting anything, you do have to be careful with what you're deleting. But um, but obviously, if it is a duplicated transaction, you don't want you don't want it there because that is going to cause a duplicate uh, duplicate uh, expense or income on your books, and you don't want that, right? Okay. So once um, once everything is accepted. 
uh, the workflow finally is to reconcile those accounts. And you do have to reconcile the Square account and your checking account. And when you reconcile the checking account, you can also locate, especially if you're mapping your transactions to go straight into your checking. So it goes through the, the Square uh, banking and then into your checking account. You want to make sure there is no duplicate transactions over there. So um, we have another video on reconciliation. We will touch bases a little bit further in that. But this is a, a few samples of issues that you can find with Square, uh, Square with the Square app uh, synchronization. So I hope that this was helpful. If you have any questions in regards to that or any issues that you are facing with Square, right down below uh, we may be able to address here we we also have um 101 um you can hire us to do a 101 zoom meeting where we can go through all the details on your account and locate any kinds of issues that you could be having with duplicated transaction in square so feel free to go to our website which is www dot the bookkeeping experts.com um oh by the way subscribe to our channel we'll be bringing videos like this uh, on a constant basis and if you want to be the first one to to see what's going on out there the updates with uh with quickbooks online uh you can receive that on a constant basis by subscribing to your to our channel um if you like this video and you think that somebody else will benefit from that feel free to share uh, feel free to um, post it in, in your in your uh, social media. Um, and we're very grateful that you took the time to watch this video. We hope that this was uh, educational, that you were able to, to figure out a few issues that could be happening in your books. And until next time, keep smiling.